In this video, we are going to look at how to use Dreamweaver CC to insert non-web file types. So we're going to first insert our cursor at the beginning of the first paragraph under Research and Development. There we go. Then we're going to choose Insert Image, Image. So right up here, Image, and then Image. And it brought us to the images folder because that's where we were last time we used the insert panel. But this time we're going to get back to lesson 09 and select resources because we're using a resource, not an image, because this is a PSD file, which means it's a Photoshop file. So we're going to go ahead and double click on that and it will bring it over. Now, since it recognizes that it's a Photoshop file, it's giving us this option here to identify what type of preset we want it to be at and the quality. Remember quality, although we always want the best, it does impact load time on your website so you always need to find that perfect medium. Here uh, JPEG is, is appropriate given the image type and then quality 80%, that's okay. So let's go ahead and click OK. And then it's going to pop up file name, it is saving it as JPEG and this time we want to make sure that we save it in the image folder. So let's see, and it's less than nine. So we're going to save in desktop, less than nine images. Perfect. And then we're going to click save. And it's important that you put it in with the rest of your images. It's going to create a path to the image wherever it's stored. So if you move it later, it's going to break your links. So. We do notice here these images appear in the corner that tells you that it's a Photoshop image. It's not just your normal uh, image like we see up here. Notice no symbols there. And we also notice it's kind of big, right? So we definitely want to look at how we can change that. Now first let's go ahead and add alternate text. Get this over with. Lynn is our research and development coordinator. Perfect. And then let's see. So it's too large. So what does that mean we're going to do? Well, we can resize the image in the property inspector, which is this puppy down here. So notice right here, right now it says 300 by 300 when the other images we're using are 150 by 150. Notice the lock here it means that it's constrained, which means if we change this number here, it will automatically change that number down here. That's what we want in this case, so that doesn't distort the image. So let's go ahead and just change this to 150 and hit enter. And it automatically shrinks it down to the right size and it changed both the height and the width. But there's one more step we need to do. We need to commit, because once we commit, it will convert the file to that size. But once we commit, we can't go back. So make sure that's the size you want before committing. And to commit, you just hit this little check mark here. And then you'll see that she's there. Beautiful. Now, last, we want to go ahead and apply uh, one of the classifications here. We had the float right, left, right. So she's going to be left. So make sure the image is selected. And then from class drop down menu, let's click float left. And there we have it. Now we have used the inserted and non-web file type, or in this case a Photoshop file, into our website using Dreamweaver CC. Remember to subscribe, and I will see you next time.